A man dedicates his own time and money to helping stray animals on the streets of his city, but when he finds a puppy sleeping in a dirty shoe among garbage, he's shocked. It's one of the most heartbreaking things he's ever seen. What he does next will make you cry. Goran had been to all the familiar spots. The alleyways, the quiet corners, the parks, and left out food for all the stray animals he came across. There was just one last place on his list, a particularly run-down part of town where strays were in abundance. It always broke the man's heart to see so many animals out on the street. He wished he could take them all in, but it just wasn't possible. What he could do, though, was provide food and water, makeshift shelters, and get help for any of the animals who were ill or injured. He felt it was never enough, but Goran was helping the poor abandoned animals more than he could ever realize. There weren't many people around who gave up their own time and money to help the animals, but when he reached the last destination on his list, he got a huge shock, and what he did next will make you cry. Goran was used to seeing heartbreaking things. In the town of Kraljevo, Serbia, homeless pets were a huge problem. They roamed the alleys and parks, their numbers increasing day by day. The city struggled with the problem of pets being abandoned and forced to survive a tough life on the streets. The shelters were often full, charities received little funding to help, and in the bustling city, many people were too wrapped up in their own lives to take any notice of street cats and dogs. Thankfully, though, there were some good people around, one of whom was Goran Marinkovic. He was a middle-aged man with a huge heart, and he dedicated his life to caring for these forgotten animals. Using his own money, he fed over a hundred stray dogs and cats, ensuring they had a meal to sustain them through the harshness of street life. He worked hard to be able to scrape together the spare cash to help the poor animals, but he couldn't imagine not doing so. He loved taking care of them, and his only wish was that he could help even more. Goran hated it when Autumn made an appearance, because he knew that soon the harsh snow and cold would be on their way, and that was never a good time for the street animals. He always liked to have some extra money available in the colder months to stock up on more food and shelters. When he stepped foot outside one morning, he could tell the weather was taking a turn. The warmth of summer was fading and would soon be replaced with a chill. He tried not to think too much about what another cold winter out on the streets could mean for some of the animals, because the thought just upset him too much. He would have to hope that some room in the many animal sanctuaries around the city opened up, then he'd be able to secure a spot for the most vulnerable. He set out on his daily route to feed the animals. He was always weighed down with bags of food to start with, but he knew by his return journey everything would be gone. There were just so many animals needing help that he never came back with any food. It was the same routine every day. Some people questioned why he would spend so much time and money helping animals that weren't his, but Goran would always return the question by asking why wouldn't he? If he enjoyed it and could afford to do so, then why wouldn't he help animals in need? Some people just didn't understand the passion he had. Sometimes he wished more people thought his way, then more animals could be helped. Each day brought new challenges and heartaches. But there were also beautiful moments. The appreciative wag on a tail from a dog presented with a bowl of food, or a loving nose boop from a cat who hadn't felt the tender touch of humans for a while made the hard times a little easier. It gave Goran hope that he was at least playing a small part in giving the animals a bit of a better life, but nothing could have prepared him for what he found that day. As he reached a particularly run-down area, his bags of food had lightened significantly. It was the last place he was visiting that day, and he never really liked coming to this part of town, but it was where the animals needed him the most. Poverty was rife here, and no one else could afford to take care of the animals. Many had kicked them out onto the streets because their owners could no longer afford to look after them. This was the first place Goran had put up some makeshift shelters, just small wooden huts down alleys where animals could at least get some shelter from the wind, rain, or snow. He'd been worried at first whether the shelters would be vandalized or whether they'd even get used, but he was pleased to see that years later the shelters were still standing and in regular use. 
He made a mental note to buy some extra blankets to replace the old ones. They'd be needed with autumn on the way. Goran placed the food down in all the usual spots and saw some of the animals he'd come to know well. He spent some time stroking the ones that wanted a bit of a fuss, then took his last bit of food to the one place he hadn't been yet. The small patch of grass was often used by strays, but over the years, he'd seen the spot deteriorate more and more. The grass never really grew all that well, no matter what time of year it was, and the whole place was covered in litter. He looked around and despaired at the sight that met him. Old food packets, both plastic and cardboard, littered the place. There was even discarded clothing. Covering his hand with one of the bags he'd been carrying food in, he began to collect some of the litter. Hungry strays would be attracted to the discarded food packets, but all this plastic lying around wasn't good for them. As he gathered up the final pieces of garbage, his eyes caught sight of something moving in a nearby dirty shoe. He stepped closer for a better look and gasped in shock. In all of his years coming out to feed the strays of his city, he didn't think he'd ever seen anything as pitiful before. Inside the dirty shoe was a small, gaunt puppy. The puppy looked weak and tiny, and it must have found the shoe as a last-ditch attempt at seeking shelter. Goran's heart broke at the sight. The puppy was emaciated, its ribs visible through its thin fur, and there was no sign of its mother. He approached cautiously, not wanting to startle the tiny animal. The puppy opened its eyes, which were filled with a mix of fear and exhaustion. The man wondered how such a small puppy had found itself all alone, sleeping amongst the garbage. Goran began by offering the little one some food. It looked in need of a good meal, and he figured this was the best first step. He emptied out a packet of dog meat near the shoe. The puppy began to weakly sniff at the offering. Deciding it was too good to resist, the tiny pup scrambled out of the shoe before tentatively taking a bite. The man watched as the pup realized it might not get any more food for a while and hungrily ate every last bit. Goran knew he couldn't leave it to fend for itself in such a weakened state. It wasn't often he intervened like this unless the animals needed urgent care, but it was clear that this little puppy wouldn't last much longer, sleeping in a dirty shoe among the garbage. Carefully, he scooped the little animal up and tucked him into the jacket to keep the chill away. He knew he needed to get the tiny pup to a vet immediately. As Goran cradled the puppy and made his way to the nearest veterinary clinic, he couldn't help but think of the countless other animals he'd rescued. Each had a story, and many had suffered immensely before finding safety in Goran's care. He remembered Iris, a cat he'd found with a broken leg after being hit by a car, and Boris, a dog who'd been abandoned in a forest and left to starve. Each rescue was a reminder of the cruelty some humans could inflict, but also of the incredible ability of these animals to survive and trust humans again. These were just a lucky few that Goran had been able to help because of their dire circumstances. Many other animals simply spent their whole lives living on the streets, largely ignored. He looked down at the trembling pup and decided to name him Smesten. At the clinic, the veterinarian examined Smesten thoroughly. The diagnosis was worse than Goran had been hoping for, though. The puppy was severely dehydrated, malnourished, and suffering from an infection. Goran listened carefully to the vet's instructions, his mind already racing with plans for Smestin's recovery. The little pup needed to wait things out in the clinic while he was hooked up to a drip to rehydrate him. After that, Goran would be able to take him home with medicine for the infection. When the pup was finally ready to leave the clinic, Goran felt ready to be in charge of his care. Back at home, Goran's other rescued animals curiously sniffed at the new arrival. The little pup wasn't the first animal the man had been unable to resist bringing home, but he had to be strict with himself. He just didn't have room to house all the animals that he met. Smestin was weak, but he still managed to wag his tail faintly at the friendly faces that greeted him. Goran set up a cozy corner for the pup, complete with a soft blanket and a heating pad to keep him warm. The first few days of recovery were always the hardest and the most important. 
If the tiny pup could get through these, then his chances of survival would be greatly improved. Gran stayed up late into the night to give Smestin his medicine and feed him small, nutritious meals. Despite Gran's best efforts, though, things took a turn for the worst. Smestin became lethargic and refused to eat. Given that he was still recovering, the man became very worried and rushed him back to the vet. He couldn't imagine losing the little pup now. He'd been doing so well and was settling in nicely, so the decline in his health came as a huge shock. The vet did a routine checkup and adjusted Smestin's treatment plan in the hopes it would help. Goran returned home, more determined than ever to save the little pup. He'd been given an insight into what it would be like to lose the little guy, and he couldn't let that happen. Over the next few weeks, Smestin slowly began to show signs of improvement. His fur started to regain its softness and shine, and his eyes looked brighter and more full of life. He began to develop a curious nature, exploring more and more of Goran's home, and even showing an interest in playing with the other animals. The man remained committed to getting the pup back to full health, and he spent hours playing with Smestin, helping him build his strength and trust. The bond between them grew stronger each day, and it began to dawn on the man that rehoming Smestin once he was fit enough would be one of the hardest things he'd ever done. As the months went by, Smestin transformed from a sickly pup into a lively, inquisitive dog. He loved Goran, following him everywhere and eagerly greeting him each morning. The man's other rescues also took a liking to Smestin, and it wasn't long before he became a cherished member of the furry family. It was like the pup had always been with them, but Goran had made a pact with himself well before Smestin's rescue that he couldn't bring any more animals home. Despite the joy Smestin brought into his life, Goran knew he couldn't keep him. He'd always planned to find a loving home for each animal he rescued. Many had come through his doors and gone on to find loving homes, apart from the few rescues he'd kept for himself. Unfortunately, Smestin couldn't be an exception. The man's finances were already stretched thin from feeding all of the strays, and he couldn't take on another pet. As much as it pained him, he began the process of looking for a suitable family for Smestin. The thought of parting with the pup weighed heavily on his heart, but he knew it was the right thing to do. Goran received several applications from families eager to adopt Smestin. Each time, he carefully vetted the potential owners, wanting nothing but the best for his beloved pup. However, as he reviewed the applications, he found himself hesitating. He always seemed to find an excuse not to let the pup go, but the truth was the idea of letting Smestin go was becoming increasingly difficult to bear. The pup had become a part of the family. After much contemplation and never finding an owner that matched his strict criteria, Goran realized something. He couldn't part with Smestin. The bond they shared was too strong, and the thought of Smestin in someone else's care felt wrong now. He'd rescued the pup and helped with his recovery. Goran officially adopted Smestin. He knew it would be hard, but the pup just brought him so much joy and seemed so settled that it felt like the right thing to do. Goran's life continued to revolve around rescuing and caring for animals, but now he had Smestin by his side. Thankfully, not long after officially adopting the pup, he received a raise at work, which eased the pressure and allowed him to still care for all of the other strays. As he went out on his usual rounds leaving out food and replacing the old blankets now winter was here, Smestin followed along loyally by Goran's side. Each time they went back to the spot where the pup had been rescued from, Smestin would curiously sniff around as if he could remember the terrible way his life had started. Then he would trot over to Goran and wait for a stroke, as if he was grateful that the man with the big heart had found him and given him a better life. Now it's over to you. What do you think of this story? Do you know any other stories of stray puppies being rescued? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.